Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Good morning, my dear friends in Christ. We begin this Sunday reflection in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Today is the first Sunday of Lent. We thank God for being alive in the land of the living. Thank you, Jesus. Our Bible reading is taken from the Gospel of Matthew chapter 4 from verse 1 to 11. Matthew 4, 1 to 11. Our topic is Worship the Lord your God and serve Him alone. Worship the Lord your God and serve Him alone. In our passage of today, we read about the temptation of our Lord Jesus Christ by the devil. The devil tempted our master, so none of us is above temptation. But in the case of our Lord, he did not yield to the temptation. Our topic today is the answer of our Lord to the devil, when the devil wants our master to bow down and worship him in exchange for all the riches and kingdom of this world. The only person that deserves our worship and total submission is God. Hear me very well. The only person that deserves our worship is God. This is the person that you need to give your total submission. Amen. In the Old Testament, we were already told that worship any other God but Yahweh. We should not worship any other God but Yahweh. The maker of heaven and earth. We should not worship any other person except our master the maker of heaven and earth. The Lord is talking to you that is hearing this message. Do not worship any other God except your creator, except Yahweh, except the maker of heaven and earth. Amen. In our world, there are false gods, false gods that have eyes, but they cannot see. They have ears, but they cannot hear. They have legs, but they cannot move without being carried around by their worshippers. But praise be to God Almighty, who sees everything, who knows everything, and who is everywhere by himself. Amen. He is the only one that we must worship. He sees everything. He knows everything. He is everywhere all by himself brothers and sisters in christ do not worship any other god he is the only one that we must worship god almighty is the only one that we must worship the lord is telling us today that we should not worship any other god any other god except him i don't know what the devil is offering you in exchange for your faith. What is the devil using to attract you to take away the worship and service of God in you? Who is taking the place of God in your life? What is taking the place of God in your life? Who? Or what do you bow down to secretly in your heart? Remember that our master overcame the devil with the word of God. Therefore, you must know God through his words in order to overcome temptation. You can worship God, you can serve God alone when you know him. Through his words, through his preaching, through hearing the gospel. It is Jesus alone that we must worship and serve. Amen. Not just, not Jesus plus Juju. Not Jesus plus Mammon. Not Jesus plus any man or a man. Made objects. No. 
The Lord is telling us, do not worship all those things. We pray today that the Lord will help us to know him more and more and worship him alone all the days of our life through Christ our Lord. Amen. Remember the topic of today. Remember what the Lord is telling you today. And take this word that the Lord is talking to you directly. Do not serve any other God except God. Worship the Lord your God and serve him alone. May the Lord give us understanding. May the Lord help us to serve him alone through Christ our Lord. Amen. And as, as you have heard this message, I pray that the Lord will touch your heart. That nothing will take you away from your God. That nothing will take you away from worshipping your God. Nothing, not mammon, not money, not time, giving time to other things and living your God. Do not allow anything to deprive you of worshipping your God and serving him alone. May God give us understanding in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I thank God for you. I thank God for everything. I wish you a lovely week ahead. You are highly blessed. Amen. Thank you, Jesus.